Welcome to Tech Mining. In the previous video, we created this stacked area chart. The speciality of this chart is when the user interact with this chart, its orientation and item styles dynamically flips and reshapes data points. When displaying multiple series, stacking avoids overlapping and clutter. It is recommended to first watch the previous video, to have a clear understanding of the components and tables used. Continuing the area chart, the next chart in the list, is the line type area chart. Its speciality is through the use of dynamic actions on these buttons at the top right of the chart, the line type of the chart changes. Line type specifies the shape of the data point connectors on the chart. Straight, this is the classic line style, connecting data points with straight line segments. It provides a clear and accurate representation of the data, emphasizing trends and changes in direction, best for precise data visualization, highlighting sharp changes, simple and clean visuals. Curved, smooth curved lines connect data points, offering a more continuous and flowing visual. This is particularly helpful for data with gradual changes or cyclical patterns, best for showing trends with smooth transitions conveying a sense of flow or continuous change, softening sharp fluctuations. Stepped, straight lines connect data points at their midpoints, creating a staircase effect. This is useful for highlighting individual data points and emphasizing discrete changes, best for showing time series with fixed intervals, highlighting changes from one point to another. Centered segmented Straight line segments connect data points, but instead of starting and ending at the data points, they begin and end in the center between points. This creates a visually lighter and less cluttered chart, especially when dealing with many data series, best for presenting multiple data series without visual overlap, achieving a clean and airy look with many lines. None, in some cases, especially with stacked area charts, Omitting lines can altogether emphasize the filled areas and their contributions to the whole. This is particularly effective when focusing on relative proportions or changes in composition, best for emphasizing stacked areas and their composition, simplifying visuals with many overlapping lines. The remaining functionalities of the chart is same as of previous area chart. Hide and show behavior allowing a user to hide and unhide a series by clicking the chart legend markers. Another major difference in the video, is the values of the y-axis will not rescale, which is useful to remain in context. Let's roll up our sleeves to create the second chart in the series. Create a new region, of the chart type. A maximize button, resembling a square with diagonal arrows, appears in the region's title bar. Users can click this button to expand the region, to occupy the full width and height of the available space within its parent container. The static ID is used as the ID for the region using the substitution string, region static ID useful when developing custom JavaScript behavior for the region. If this is not defined, the region generates an internal ID. In the current scenario, it is used in the execute JavaScript code for the dynamic actions. Area charts are useful for comparing trends of cumulative values over time such as breakdowns of sales trends. Enabling the stack switch, organizes the chart to display in a straight line.
enabling the show switch, renders a legend on the chart. End position, renders the legend at the end of the chart. Selecting no rescaling, the values of the chart axis will not rescale when selecting or deselecting a legend item. This is useful to keep the user in context. A series represents a distinct set of data points that are visualized together on the chart. It's a fundamental building block for creating meaningful and informative visualization. Rename the default series. Use the SQL query provided in the video description. The provided SQL query, selects the following columns, a product name, retrieves the product name from the EBA demo chart products table, aliased as a b quantity, retrieves the ordered quantity from the EBA demo chart orders table, aliased as b b customer, retrieves the customer name from the EBA demo chart orders table. Then it combines the data from the two tables, EBA Demo Chart Products, which holds the product information, and the EBA Demo Chart Orders, which holds the order details. Where condition, A Product ID equals B Product ID, is joining the two tables, ensuring matching product IDs between tables, creating a link between products and orders data. The customer equals store A narrows the results to orders placed by store A. Next, for the label column property, select the column name to be used for defining the label of the x-axis on the chart. The value property is used for defining the values of the selected column on the chart. Specify whether the quantity column labels should be rendered on the chart. When turned off, for the selected series, the chart displays something like this. Create the following series. Assign any other descriptive name to each series for clarity and legend identification. Make sure to provide the same name in the SQL query as well. Make sure to match the remaining properties. Let's add the following buttons. These properties enhances the appearance of the button, with the more attractive looks. Selecting the first button option, the straight button will be the first button in the buttons category. The behavior of these buttons will be defined by dynamic actions and subsequent steps.
Buttons that appear between the first and last button, are called the inner buttons. None button will be the last button in the buttons category. Let's give life to these dead buttons. Create the following dynamic actions. When clicking the straight button, this dynamic action will execute the following JavaScript code. The provided JavaScript code is configuring the Oracle Jet chart for a region with the ID area 2, and setting the line type to be straight. This part is selecting the apex region, which is the chart region, with the static ID area 2. The widget method is used to get the widget associated with the selected apex chart region. This part is configuring the Oracle Jet chart widget. The style defaults object is being passed with a property line type set to straight, which means that the lines on the chart will be straight. Select the chart region on the page to be affected by this action. Create the following dynamic actions for the remaining buttons. When clicking the curved button, this dynamic action will execute the following JavaScript code. Line type set to curved, means that the lines on the chart will be curved. Clicking the stepped button, this dynamic action will execute the following JavaScript code. Line type set to stepped, means that each area or line on the chart will be stepped, creating a staircase effect. Clicking the segmented button. This dynamic action will execute the following JavaScript code. Line type set to centered segmented, means that each area or line on the chart will be centrally divided and aligned.
When clicking None button, this dynamic action will execute the following JavaScript code. Line type set to None, means no area or line on the chart will display, efficient when emphasizing relative ratios or variations in composition. That's it, save your progress. Run the application. Click the buttons on the top right, to align the chart accordingly. The interactive legend allows dynamic filtering of data series, facilitating focused analysis and identification of hidden patterns. When working with legends, notice on the left side of the chart that the values of the y-axis will not rescale. At last, clicking this button, expands the region to occupy its full width and height. That's all for now. Hold on to your curiosity. There is many more exciting content coming soon, in the chart video series. Thanks for watching the video.